होमवर्क क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आई हैव गिवन मैथमेटिकल इंडेक्शन क्वेश्चन आई हैव गिवन होमवर्क हैव यू डन इट्स से यस नो बेटा क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एनी प्रॉब्लम डन इट नाउ लेट मी टेक क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर सभी आ गए बेटे नाउ आई एम टेकिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ही आर सी ए एन बी आर सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स ए एन बी आर सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स वी हाउ टू प्रूव ए बी माइनस वी हाउ टू चेक ए बी माइनस बी ए इज विच टाइप ऑफ मैट्रिक्स आई दर सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स आर स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स नाउ टेल मी वॉट इज गिवन हियर इफ ए एन बी आर सिमेट्रिक मीन्स वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ इट ऑलरेडी आई हैव डन द सेम क्वेश्चन वॉट इज एन बी आर सिमेट्रिक मीन्स बेटा गिव मी आंसर ए एन बी आर सिमेट्रिक मीन्स राइट डैश That is up to your choice. A B minus B A whole transpose. Now, if I open this bracket, I will get it A B whole transpose. I am using properties of uh, uh, transpose of your matrix. So A B whole transpose minus B A whole transpose. But A B whole transpose equal to what is the result? A B whole transpose equal to B transpose A transpose B transpose A transpose. Yes, exactly. Well done. B transpose into A transpose. This becomes A transpose into B transpose. But as per given B transpose equal to B, they have given A transpose equal to A given minus A B. Now, if I take out minus, I will get it A B minus B A. That means I am getting minus P matrix implies a P equal to I am getting minus a P transpose. Therefore, this is which type of matrix, beta? A B minus B A. Yes, exactly. Well done. Yes, this is skew symmetric matrix. Skew symmetric. matrix write down fast beta write down fast write down everybody have joined beta write down fast have you written beta Say yes, no immediately. Written, everybody. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now let me take another question. Question number five. Question number five is another most important question. Now, what they are asking? Question number five. What is given first to read out one time? Question number five. So here, show that the matrix B transpose A B is a symmetric askew symmetric according as A is a symmetric or skew symmetric. What they are saying, this question number five. This is also one of the most important question. If you take if A is a symmetric, A is symmetric. According as means if A is symmetric, that is A equal to what is given here. A equal to A transpose. Then you have to prove B equal to B transpose. A B is also symmetric. If you take A is a skew symmetric matrix, then you have to prove B transpose. A B is a A skew symmetric matrix. That is question. Okay, fine. Now first, I am taking A is a symmetric matrix. Then I how to prove this becomes a symmetric matrix. So what I told you, whether symmetric or skew symmetric, you have to take both side transpose. Now I am taking here beta B transpose A B. Now, now see here. Now I am taking both side transpose. That is equal to B transpose A B whole transpose. Now that is equal to if I you take it this is A matrix this is B matrix okay now A B whole transpose equal to this is I am taking A and this A B is at another part okay what is A B whole transpose equal to A B whole transpose equal to B transpose into A into A transpose as per that as per that if I use that result this is B beta this is A I have taken A B whole transpose. B transpose into A transpose. 
Now A B whole transpose. Once again, I'm using result B transpose whole transpose becomes B. Now A transpose equal to what is given here A. So that is equal to B transpose. Sorry, yeah, B transpose into A into B matrix. And now we are getting same matrix. That is a B transpose equal to P matrix. This implies B transpose A B is a symmetric. If what is the condition? If A is a symmetric. If A is symmetric matrix, okay. Now, what they are asking second part, the same question second part. If you take if A is a skew symmetric, second part. If A is skew symmetric matrix, skew symmetric means what? Better tell me first. What is skew symmetric? B is equal to minus B plus C. Yeah, A is equal to minus A transpose. This is given. Now you have to check this B transpose A B is also. You take it another name to matrix. You have to check if you take A is a skew symmetric matrix, then you have to prove. You should prove B transpose A B is also skew symmetric matrix. That is question. Now anyhow, I am taking both side transpose B transpose A B ka. Whole transpose, the same result I am using beta. This is A matrix. This is entire B matrix. Now that is equal to A B whole transpose into B transpose of whole transpose. Now I am using result A B whole transpose equal to B transpose into A transpose. B transpose whole transpose equal to B. But as per given A transpose, this implies A transpose equal to minus A matrix. So minus I am keeping outside. That is equal to A into B matrix. Now that is equal to we are getting minus Q implies Q equal to minus Q transpose. Therefore B transpose A B is a skew. Skew कब बनेगा? Is a skew symmetry when when बेटा skew symmetry when A is skew symmetry when A is skew symmetry. That is the question. If you take A is a symmetric, then you have to prove this is symmetric matrix. If you take A is a skew symmetric matrix, you have to prove this is also Skew symmetric matrix. No doubt, fast, clear. Are you clear? Say yes, no. Beta clear or yes, not? Yes, okay. No doubt. No doubt, fast. Beta no doubt, fast. Noted. Yes, Peter. Noted. Next, we noted, Peter. Say yes, no. Yes, but I am taking another question, question number uh, six. That is a homework. But let me uh, before giving homework, let me explain so that easily you can do it. What they have given here, A matrix is given. What is A matrix? Zero, two y, and then z, and then x, and then y minus z, and then x minus y, and then z. What condition they are saying? A transpose into A equal to identity matrix. Then find A transpose. A transpose into A equal to identity matrix. Then find value of x, y, z. Beta, this is also one of the repeated board question. Clear? You are going to do. I am not do, uh, doing here. Now A transpose. You know zero x x and then two y y minus y and then z minus z z. That is a transpose into A matrix zero to y z and then x y minus z and then x minus y is it equal to identity matrix means one zero zero take it three by three identity matrix understood because given matrix order is three by three zero one zero 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 one now you know how to do matrix multiplication then equate corresponding element you will get it x y z are you clear can you do it better can you do it yes. Now, yes, beta. Next, I am taking question number seven. Beta seven, nine, one, and the same type. Which question I have to do? Seven or nine? 
Any one question I have to do with them? Yes, madam. Either seventh question or ninth question I will do it. Yes, madam. Nine. Nine. Madam, I am taking question number nine. So seventh question is a cover. Okay. Question number nine. What they have given here? Find x. This is also one of the repeated question. X minus five minus one into another matrix here given 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 1 and then 2, 0, 3 into, into x, 4, 3, x, 4, sorry, 1 equal to, beta this is not 0, O matrix, this is null matrix, 0 means null matrix, because this is matrix, matrix, matrix equal to, you will get it matrix same order, that's keep in your mind, that is not a 0, okay, fine. Now, you know matrix multiplication how to do. What is order of this question beta? Immediately tell me answer. What is order of this matrix? 1 by 3. 1 by 3 beta, what happened to you? 1 by 3 matrix almost going to complete. What is order of this matrix? 3 by 3. 3 by 3. Now, what you will get it in the matrix order? 1 by 3. First you multiply these two. Okay, now listen. That is, this implies first row with the first column. First row with the first column. 1 into x, x. And then minus 5 into 0, 0. Minus 1 into 2, minus 2. First row with the first column. First row with the second column. 0, minus 10. And then plus 0. Now first row with the third column. That is 2x. And then minus 5, minus 3. Now see, we are getting order is how much? 1 by 3. Are we able to 1 by 3? Now into what is given x4 1 equal to null matrix. Now what is order of this one? What is order of this? 3 by 1. Well done beta. 3 by 1. It will be cancelled. We will get it 1 by 1. Means a single element we will get. Now first row with the first column. I am multiplying by first row. The first you simplify this x minus 2 minus 10 and then 2x minus 8 into x4 1 equal to null matrix. Now, if I multiply by first row with the first column, so we will get it, that is uh, two, uh, x square minus 2x, now minus 10 into 4, minus 40, and then this into this, uh, plus 2x, and then minus 8 equal to null matrix. Now, this is single element, I'm opening this matrix, now I'm getting x square minus 48 equal to 0. Is it that correct, Vita? This implies x square equal to 48. Then x square x is equal to x x equal to plus or minus. I think uh, 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 what is it? Under root of 48. 40, can you factorize? 4 root 3. Huh? 4 root 3. 4 root 3. Yes, Vita. Yes. This, like this you have to do question number uh, 7. Okay, fine. Do it fast. Do it fast. Yes, Vita. Question number next eight, I will take. No down fast. Noted? Yes, Yes, Vita. Now I am taking question number eight. Vita, question number eight, one of the most important, again, repeated question. Maximum this question frequently comes in board paper. Now I am taking another question. I am not taking your NCRT book question. You have to do this NCRT question homework. So question number 8 is homework. But I am adding this question something. Show that a square minus 5a plus 7i equal to 0. And hence find a inverse. You write down and hence find a inverse. A up karoge. Now I am taking question. Instead of question number 8, I am taking another question. 5, 3, 12, 7. And then show that a square minus 12a minus i equal to 0. And hence I am adding this part. And hence find a inverse. Like this they will ask for more question beta. That is keep in your mind. Now let me explain. First you, you have to prove this equal to 0. Means a square. First let me find a square. That is a into a. So that is equal to 5, 3, 12, 7. You can also do it, do fast, into 5, 3, then 12, 7. Now calculation how to check 25 and then uh, 36 and then next uh, 15, uh, then plus 21, then 60, um, 
uh, this one is uh, 14 1 uh, 7 8 better 84 12 7 are 84 correct uh, then next uh, 12 36 and then 49 better calculation is how to check now we are getting if calculation is wrong then we will not get answer this uh, 1 5 61 and then this is uh, 36 and this is a uh, 4 um, 144 and then this is a uh, 5 uh, 8 isn't it isn't it now I am taking the result a square minus 2 a minus i equal to a square we are getting 61 36 144 85 minus 12 into a matrix but I am multiplying by 12 that is 60 12 into 3 36 and then 12 into 12 144 12 into uh, 7 12 into uh, 7 what we will get it up Mm, 84 okay now minus identity matrix that is 1001 0, now that is equal to c 61 minus 60 minus 1 we will get it 0 36 minus 36 0 then 144 minus 144 0 85 minus 84 minus 1 we will get it 0 so therefore we have proved a square minus 2a minus i equal to null matrix we have proved so first you know down and hence find they are asking A inverse. So how to find the A inverse let me. Not using elementary operation and hence means with the help of this one. Whatever you have proved with the help of this one you have to find the A inverse. First you know down then let me explain how to find the A inverse. First beta hurry up. Hurry up. Noted? Yes, sir. Yes, better. Now, everybody very carefully listen here how to find the A inverse with the help of A square minus 12A minus I equal to 0. Since, now I am writing, we have proved, therefore I am writing since A square minus 12A minus I equal to 0. If you need A inverse with the help of this, not using elementary operation, mind it. Now I am multiplying both sides by A inverse. I need A inverse. So A square minus 12A minus I equal to A inverse into null matrix. Now if I open this A inverse into A square minus 12 into A inverse into A minus A inverse into identity matrix equal to null matrix. But A inverse into A, you know the result A inverse into A equal to what? A inverse into A equal to? Beta fast please. A. I. A inverse into A equal to identity matrix. You have done so many questions elementary operation. So A inverse into A identity matrix, we will get it one A matrix. I am keeping here. Again A inverse into A identity matrix. If I multiply the identity matrix with any matrix, I will get it same matrix equal to null matrix. I into A, I will get it A matrix. 12I minus A inverse equal to 0. I need A inverse. Take this A inverse to that side. So A inverse equal to A minus 12I. A matrix we have that is a 5, 3, 12, 7 minus 12 into I, 12 into, 12 into identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. Understood you have to take 2 by 2 matrix. So that is equal to 5, 3, 12, 7 minus that is 12, 0, 0, 12. If I minus this both matrix, I will get it a 5 minus 12, minus 7 and then 3 minus 0, 3 and then 12 minus 0, 12 and then 7 minus 12, minus 5. Now, your answer is perfectly correct, beta. Are you clear? Yes. Okay. Ye hai, beta. Let me explain once again. And hence mean whatever you have proved early, using with the help of that one, you have to find A inverse. Not using elementary operation. If you use elementary operation completely wrong, they will not consider. Now, I am multiplying by both sides A inverse. See, if I do a uh, left multiply, that is pre-multiply, I am doing here is also pre-multiply. Now, I am opening this bracket A inverse into A square minus 12 into A inverse into A matrix, A inverse into identity matrix equal to null matrix. A inverse into A matrix, we will get it identity matrix. So one A I am keeping here. 
minus A inverse into A, I, I, identity matrix A inverse into identity matrix becomes A inverse equal to null matrix. Now I into A matrix becomes A matrix minus 12I minus A inverse equal to 0. Now we record A inverse. So A inverse equal to, I am taking this side. Now I am finding, I am putting all the matrices here. Finally I am getting answer. Better please note down. So NCRT book, the, they have given the question. Question number 8, you have to find A inverse. That's why I told you. And hence find A inverse, you write down. Have you noted better? Are you clear this one? How to find A inverse? Say yes, no. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes better now noted? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Better question number 10. Let me explain question number 10. You have to do homework once again. So question number 10, you have to form matrix. Then multiply, you will get it a amount, cost of uh, uh, whatever they are asking. Okay. Now see, you have to keep, this is market 1. How to do homework, that's I am explaining. That is question number 10. Market 1, market 2. Keep it like this. Equal to, here you have to write, this is 10,000, whatever. Whatever better, that's you have to see. Uh, uh, what I am writing, that's I know here 18,000. Uh, and then here is 6,000. And then 20,000. And then here, uh, 8,000 into prices they have given 2.50, 1.50, 1.00. Now, if you multiply, then you will get it market value. First market total amount and second market total amount. The same thing, second part also you have to do it. And finally, they are asking, uh, find the gross profit, o to tk um, Then if the unit cost about three commodities. Now... Second part, first part is see, find the total revenue in each market with the help of matrix. But it's simply how to multiply this into this and this into this, you get it a market value. Clear to you? Can you do it? Did I tell me? Yes. Okay. Now see question number 11. 11th one is one of the most important question. You have to do question number 11 as a homework. Instead of question number 11, I'm taking another question. How to do? I will explain the concept. Question number 11 I am taking. Another most important question beta. 2 I am taking instead of this question some different question. 1 0 minus 3 4 into A matrix that is equal to minus 1 minus 8 minus 10. 1 minus 2 minus 5 9 22 15. Here they have given capital letter. Capital letter means matrix not element. Okay fine. Now. First, you have to decide what is order of this matrix. Now, what is order of this matrix, beta? What is order of this matrix? Fast. Huh? Three, by two. three by two. Okay. What is order of this matrix? Three by three. Three by three. three, by three. Beta, this, this into this, when we can do matrix multiplication, when we can do matrix multiplication. Now, what about uh, row of this one? A matrix. Order of A. 2 by 3. Yes, not 2 by 3. Don't say 2 by 3. I asked you what is order of 2. That is sorry, uh, order of row. Order of A matrix. That is equal. That must be, first one must be 2. First one must be 2 into equal to 3 by 3 matrix. So we have to 2 to cancel. We should get 3 by 3. That's why you are keeping here 2 by 3. Are you clear? First you decide. So how to find the order? Are you clear what I am saying? Better you have to check like this. Now let I am taking A matrix equal to 2 by 3, 2 rows and 3 columns. So you have to take it A, B, C, D, E, F like this you have to take it. Now I am taking let A matrix equal to this is 2 by 3 order. Now that is a 2 minus 1, 1, 0, minus 3, 4 into A, B, C, D, E, F, that is equal to, here minus 1, minus 8, minus 10, 1, minus 2, minus 5, 9, 22, 15. Better you also do it along with me. Now first row with the first column, 2A, minus D, first row with the second column, 2B, minus E, first row with the third column, 2C, minus F, now second row with the first column, A, plus 0, then first, second row with the second column, B plus 0. Then second row with the third column, C plus 0. Now next we are getting here, that is third row, minus 3A and then plus 4D. 
and then minus 3b and then plus 4b and then minus 3c plus 4f. That is equal to we have right hand side minus 1 minus 8 minus 10. 1 minus 2 minus 5. 9, 22. Better this is also one of the repeated question. Keep in your mind. Better do it fast. Do fast. Do fast. I thought we will complete this exercise. But uh, remaining two questions, three questions. Fast, fast, better, fast. Noted? Yes, ma'am. Yes, better. Yes. I'm just I'm erasing B step only. The special, you have to learn how to find the order of that new matrix. That is main here. Now, finally, we are getting better 2A minus D, 2B minus E and 2C minus F. And then next to A and then B and then C and then next to minus 3A plus 4D and then minus 3B plus 4E and then minus 3C and then plus 4F. That is equal to finally what we have here. Minus 1 minus 8 minus 10. Then 1 minus 2 minus 5. 9, 22, 15. Okay, fine. Now equate corresponding element. Wherever easily you can find value you have to equate. First, I am taking second row. Equate corresponding second row element. So, this implies A value is 1, B value is minus 2 and C value is minus 5. Okay, fine. First, A, B, C again. Now, you have to uh, make it to the first row. 2A since 2A minus D equal to minus 1. So, A value is 1. So, this implies minus D equal to that is 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3. D equal to we will get it minus 3. Now, if I equate next element to 2B minus E equal to minus 8, B value we have minus 2, so minus 4. So, minus 4 plus 8 equal to E, this implies E equal to I will get it 4. Now, if I equate a third element to C minus F equal to minus 10. Now, if I substitute value of F is minus 10 minus F equal to minus 10, F equal to 0, F equal to 0. So, the final answer the value of A matrix C beta. This we are finding the elements. Now finally you have to construct. Yes, yeah, beta. Yes. D is equal to 3. Uh, D equal to? Minus 2. Minus 1. Do we, uh, beta. Uh, ha, ha. 2A. Let me check. 2A minus D equal to. Uh, yeah. That is D equal to um, plus 3. Okay. Fine. So therefore A matrix equal to 1 minus 2 minus 5. And then 3, 4, 0. This is our final answer. The order of this matrix is, what is it? 3 by 2. Like this, this is one of the most important question. Better. This question from NCRT exemplar I have done here. So, NCRT question you have to do. Clear? Are you clear, Beta? Yeah. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Which one? Uh, question number uh, 11? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me explain. Have you noted this one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Let me explain question number 11. Order I will uh, explain you how to choose matrix. Let me explain. Then you have to do it homework. Now, see question number 11. Uh, what is given here? X matrix 1, 2, 3 and then 4, 5, 6 equal to minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, 2, 4, 6. Okay, fine. Now, listen better. What is the order of this matrix? Now, what is the order of this matrix? Beta fast. 2 by 3. Now, order of this matrix, order of this matrix, the column is, column should be what? 2 by 2. Then only 2 by 2 will be cancelled. Clear? Ye baat clear hua sabi ko? Now, what is the order of this matrix? What is the order of this matrix, beta? 2 by 3. So, we should get, if you are cancelling 2, 2, we will get 2 by 3 matrix. So, what should be here? 2. 2. So, therefore, order of x, order of x is equal to 2 by 2. Now, let x matrix is equal to a, b, c, d. It is so simple question. Clear to you? Ma'am. Ah. Ma'am, 2. Order 2 by 2 over 3 by 3. What is the equal matrix? Beta? Equal to what is matrix? 2 by 3 matrix? Okay, fine. See, listen. Now, now leave it. Now, we can do multiplication. 
only number of column of this matrix equal to number of row of this matrix. Number of row is here too. So we should have here column is also 2. Now when now here you have to decide what is the case. 2, 2 will be cancelled. Now order of equal to matrix is 2 by 3. If two matrices are equal, when it is equal, order of matrices should be equal. Then only two matrices are equal. So equal to 2 by 3, after multiplication, we should get a 2 by 3 matrix. So 2, 2 cancel. If I keep here 2, then only I will get it a new matrix order is 2 by 3. Yes. So that's why that's why I have written order of x is equal to 2 by 2. That's we have taken. Then you can do how to solve this. Clear? Clear better? Yes, sir. Now see better question number 12. Question number 12. Let me explain if possibly how to do it. Otherwise, I will do it. Okay. Now see question number 12. Question number 12, let me explain you how to do it a homework. Otherwise, I will do it tomorrow better. A and B are square symmetry. A and B are square matrices of the same order such that A, B equal to B, A they have given. Then prove that A, B power N equal to B power N into A. Further, you have to prove A, B whole power N equal to B power N into A power N. So, let me do it better, no problem. Now, see, anyhow, N statement, we have to use uh, mathematical induction. Am I correct? Okay, now I'm using mathematical induction, let n equal to 1. If you take n equal to 1, a b equal to what we will get it? b a. So definitely a b equal to b a given. Given, that's why it is a 2. I'm not saying a b equal to b a. It is given here. Now step number 2, let n equal to k. If I take n equal to k, a into b power k equal to b power k into a. This is equation number 1, is a 2. Okay, you have to prove, to prove, what you have to prove? What do you have to prove it? A into B power K plus 1 equal to B power K plus 1 into A. You have to prove with the help of this result. Now I am taking LHS. What is LHS? A into B power K plus 1. We can break it A into B power K into B matrix. But A into B power K equal to what is given here? Result number 1 by 1. A into B power K equal to I can write B power K into A matrix into A matrix. Sorry, into B matrix. A as per given I have written beta. Now that is equal to AB equal to now listen again. AB equal to BA. Instead of AB I am writing here BA. A, this is also given. AB equal to BA given I have used. Now basis same if I add power B power K plus 1 into A. So I have taken LHS. I am getting here RHS. Hence why. So therefore PK plus 1 is a 2. Pk plus 1 is 2, wherever Pk is 2, wherever Pk is 2. Hence by PMI up completed, hence by PMI given statement is 2 for all n belongs to given statement is a 2, statement is 2 for all n belongs to capital N. Are you clear better? Now second part what they are saying, no down fast hurry up. Bit of fast. Noted a bit. Yes, noted. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Bit of second part, can you do it? A, B whole power N equal to A power N into B power N. But further means with the help of this result. That means A into B power N equal to B power N into A. You can use it. With the help. And this both result further means with the help of these two result. You have to prove A B whole power N equal to A power N into B power N. Can you do it better? Can you do it? Say yes, no. Better tell me say yes, no. Can you do it or not? Suppose if you are not able to do it, if you are not able to do it, then I will do it tomorrow. Clear? Okay. Now, so this, this, is for, better, this is for homework elementary operation question. Elementary, using elementary operation, you have to find A inverse. Using elementary operation, find A inverse. Regular, I will give one question elementary operation unless until if you get proper practice, then don't stop doing this elementary operation question. Clear? Using elementary of operation, find A inverse. 
Question number one. Another question number two. I am giving one more question. Find the X matrix such that. Another homework question I am giving. A square minus 5A plus this is a board question better. A equal to 0. Null matrix. If A equal to. If A equal to. 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, this is last year, 4 more question, board question, 2, 1, 3, and then 1, minus 1, 0. Okay, you, you find out A square, minus 5A plus 4I, take it this X to that side, minus X, then automatically you will get it in X matrix. Clear? Can you do it at home work? Yes. Yes, beta. Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. Uh, remaining question C, question number 13, dekhne beta. Question number 13. A equal to alpha, beta, a gamma minus alpha. Is such that A square equal to identity matrix. You know how to find identity matrix? 1, 0, 0, 1 and A square you know how to find A into A. Then check it in the following condition which one is correct. Okay. Now question number 14 tell me. If the matrices A is both symmetric and skew symmetric. When can you say one matrix is symmetric? As well as the skew symmetry. Which matrix? Which matrix can become Square symmetric matrix. as... Huh? Square matrix. No, beta. No. A is zero matrix. Yes, zero matrix. Beta symmetric. That should be square matrix understood a beta. Symmetric means A equal to A transpose. Q symmetric means A equal to minus A transpose. This is a possible. This two condition is a success only if it is a zero matrix. Then only it becomes a symmetric or skew symmetric matrix. Now question number 15. 15 I plus A plus B whole cube formula. You know A plus B whole cube formula? A cube plus 3 A square B plus 3 A B square plus B cube. Then substitute the values, you will get automatically answer. Question number 15. So all questions see how to do it. If you have any further doubts, we will discuss tomorrow. Clear to you better? Clear? So anyhow, tomorrow I will give you some questions. Then I will start determinants. Simple revision, I will do it matrices. I will ask you questions. Tomorrow I will ask, I will take oral test. So mentally you have to prepare from matrices entire topic. I will ask a simple, simple questions. Okay, fine. So I will ask name wise. Clear to you? Now, have you noted this homework? Have you noted better? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, better. Thank you. Thank you, mom. Okay, better. Bye.